In the liquid recovery method, refrigerant is transferred while still in the liquid state. Let's walk through the process. When you're ready to start, make sure the system you're servicing is turned off. Also check that the recovery machine selector knob is set to off and all valves on the manifold are closed. We're using a manifold for this demonstration because it has additional metering and allows us to pull from both the high and low side ports at the same time. Now, connect your manifold to the system being serviced, high side to liquid port and low side to vapor port. Now, connect a quarter inch utility hose of your manifold to the suction port of the recovery machine. Finally, connect a hose from the liquid side of the recovery cylinder to the discharge port. You'll want to be sure that the ends with the shutoffs are used at the suction and discharge ports. This is required by law. We're using quarter inch hoses, like these Yellow Jacket Plus 2 hoses. When you're done making all connections, your setup should look something like this. Before beginning the recovery, purge all hoses of non-condensables. Now, open the liquid valve on the recovery tank. When using the Recover XLT model as shown, you'll need to zero out the scale and monitor it to avoid overfilling. DOT regulations mandate that tanks cannot be filled beyond 80% capacity. You're now ready to turn the recovery unit on. Next, turn the selector valve on the recovery unit to liquid. Open the high side valve and the utility port on the manifold. The unit will recover until the low pressure switch shuts down the unit and the lamp indicates recovery complete. This is an important feature of the Yellow Jacket Recover XLT recovery units. When the pressure in the system reaches the proper vacuum, which varies depending on the type and size of the equipment, the machine simply shuts off automatically. If the pressure were to rise again, the machine would then turn itself back on. This process will continue until the appropriate vacuum level is maintained. Now you can turn the system switch off and turn the selector valve clockwise to off. Now, as you know, you need to purge the recovery system next. Purging clears the recovery unit of refrigerant, reducing the risk of cross-contamination and prolonging the life of your equipment. Because of this, you must purge your unit after every service. The good news is that the Yellow Jacket Recover XLT has an auto purge feature. Here's how it works. You turn the system switch on, and then you turn the selector valve to the purge position. Both the high and low side gauges will equalize and begin to drop into a vacuum. This lets you know that the purge process is working. When the unit again shuts down and the lamp indicates recovery complete, then your liquid recovery process is complete. And those are the basics of liquid recovery.